Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our English class. This is Elias Al Hariri, Grade Eight, Unit Two: A Taste of Palestinian Culture. Today we have period number seven and period number eight. At the beginning, we have collect words in a network and do these tasks. Here at the beginning, the words Arabic language. Culture, clothes, food, holidays, music, music, mosques, food, and religion. So all these related to Arab culture. When we talk about Arab culture, we talk about many things. Use the words from one to complete the network. Then think of more examples. Now the Arab culture talk about many things. The first one is food, and we talk about food. For example, we talk about kebabs. Now here we have number two. We have example Islam. So what of these words related to Islam? It is religion. And number three, important days and what. For example, we have Eid. We have Eid. So we have important days and yes, holidays. Number four, we have example hijab. So what do we do with hijab? It is yes, clothes. Number five, language. For example, what? Arabic language and we have buildings example which of buildings here that's right mosques and the last one here we have and musical instrument it is what music and musical instruments and for example of musical instrument wood good now we have exercise number two, the second part. Complete these answers with words from the box. Then practice in pairs. The same exercise about the last one. I needed to continue here. And he asks us, what kinds of thing help to make culture? What kinds of thing help to make culture? We have a lot of things. For example, we have clothes. Make us clothes can give us culture. What else get us or give us cultures? Yes, religion give us culture. Food, of course. Language as as well, and buildings tell us all about culture. For example. Can you give any examples from Arab culture? From Arab culture, give me example of cultures. Yes, things like hijab, kebabs, and mosques, for example. Now, <coughs> collect words, verb, and nouns. Complete the verbs, add er to make person nouns read again and find them so when we have a word a verb if you want to change it to noun person we just we add er if the word ends with e we just add r we also know these verbs add er or just r after e to make person nouns now we have the words bake, build, dance, design, drive, explore, speak, work, and write. You need to put these words in the spaces here. Complete the words, the sentences. Use bear, use bears of words. And this is homework, everybody. The other beginning I need to do, I will do two of them to uh, help you 
The first one, Farida sings very well. Yes, she practices a lot and she's a good singer. Number two, Omar and Khalid are good. Yes, they are always come at the right time every morning. So Omar and Khalid are good workers. They always come at the right time every morning and work hard. So continue please with these words. Put them in the spaces. Now we come to the next word number eight. We have past symbol. And past symbol the rule is subject plus verb two. The past subject and plus the past. And the keywords with the past symbol, yesterday, last week, last year, last month, ago, in the past. And we have more than these. For example, Sammy wrote his homework yesterday. This is example and this is um, the verb number two, Sammy wrote in the past. And we have something tell us it is past which is yesterday now if we change the sentence to negative I say Sammy didn't write his homework yesterday why because here we don't have any helping verb and if we need and if we need to change the negative I have to put helping verb with the negative so I have to do to put do and change it to the past Sammy didn't write his homework yesterday when we change it to yes no question I start with dead and I say did Sammy row did Sammy write his homework yesterday the answer is yes or no when we have a WH question I'll say when did Sammy write his homework the answer is yesterday now we have another thing which is used to and when we use used to I use it after it infinitive so we have used to plus infinitive what's the meaning of infinitive it means infinitive it means no any addition letters so I need to put the verb without any addition without ed without ing without s nothing in the base form for example my dad used to play tennis in the past my dad used to I put used to it means I used to do things in the past my dad used to and after used to I put the verb infinitive my dad used to play tennis in the past change it to negative my dad didn't used to play tennis in the past here I put didn't because we have it in the past negative past so uh, when when we have did we change used from past to present use without D my dad didn't used to play tennis in the past when we change it to yes no question I start with did did my dad used to play tennis in the past the answer is yes or no and when we have wh well question i say what did my dad used to play in the past the answer is tennis so be careful when we have negative be careful when we have question we don't post d with use the why because did took the past so after that we don't use past another past we put the verb in the infinitive on period number eight read we have exercise number one read sentences one and two number one in the past people used to sing folk songs about their simple lives number two they also used to put their poems to music. 
Now look at the sentences. Tick the best way to complete the statements. One, these sentences are all the, these sentences are about number one and two are about action now or the actions a long time ago. Yes, actions a long time ago. Two, in these sentences, in each sentence, the action happened only one time, B, many times. Many times, yes. Now look at the form. Take the best way to complete the statement. These positive sentences take the form. The positive sentence take the form use plus two infinitive or used plus two infinitive. Yes, used plus two infinitive. Now read the questions and answer. Exercise number two. Number one. Did people used to sing for rock songs a thousand years ago? No, they did not use to do that. Rock music only developed in 19s in the 1950s. Number two, did people used to play the guitar thousands of years ago? B. No. They did not use to do that. The guitar only developed two centuries ago. Now look at the sentences. Take the best way to complete the statements. The questions take the form A. Did use to infinitive or B. Did used to infinitive. With the question, what do we put? Did use or did used? Yes, did and use because we have did, we don't put the D with use. Number two, the negative sentences take the form. Negative sentence take the form. Did not use, B did not use. Yes, did not use because we have did, so we need to put use without D. Now the homework, at the beginning, let's read sentences about Ali and Mona and use the, the words. The first number one, two, three, already finished, but we need to complete them. And the homework is to finish number four and five students. Number one, Ali often email friends now, not used to before he takes them so they wrote it Ali often emails friends now but he didn't used to do that before he used to do he used to text them the already the first one is already finished number two when I usually text people not used to before she calls them on the phone when we change it Change it. Mona usually texts people now, but she didn't used to do that before. She she called them on the phone. What? She used to call them on the phone. Number three, Ali always go to school by bus. Not used to before he walked to school. It becomes Ali always goes to school by bus now but he didn't use to do that before he used to walk to school so everybody I need I want you to I want you to finish number four and number five do as these three examples that's all for today thanks for attending and have a nice day